In the Indian motorcycle market, we've seen a bunch of brands, not just Indian brands, but brands from across the world, US, Japan, Germany, all over Europe, you name it, the Indian market has it. However, Swedish brands are unheard of. Yes, we did hear it in 2020, but it wasn't a big hit due to COVID. Now, Husqvarna has launched their updated model of one of their previous versions. Welcome to DriveSpark, I'm Vedan Johari and this is the Husqvarna Swart Pillin 401. Let's take a look at what comes redesigned in this motorcycle and let's see what you think of this beautiful, beautiful motorcycle. Starting off with the front end of this beautiful motorcycle, as we can see, we have this massive circular headlight and this comes in the traditional Husqvarna style with a split style lamp and a badging in the center showcasing the Husqvarna logo. As you can see, we really can't see a TRL over here, but it's integrated at the top with this really nice going all around, which really enhances the whole aesthetic and the whole silhouette of this motorcycle. On the sides, we have these sleek, beautiful indicators and we have a very nice front mod guard as we've seen in some of the KTM models with a Husqvarna badging over there. Now, coming to the front forks, it's a USD fork, Enduro spec. So the front fork is connected to 17 inch tires and the tires that we have are Pirelli Scorpions. These are dual sport tires and the size is a 110-70-R17. Also, at the bottom of the fork, as we can see, we have a fork guard. Now, this is for when you go for your off-road excursions to avoid your fork from getting any damages. So, the front disc that we have is a 320mm disc and it's connected to Vibre calipers. So, moving on from the front end, just above the headlight, we have this small windscreen that again enhances the whole look of this motorcycle. So now coming to the side design of the motorcycle, something that attracts your eye first is this beautiful 401 badging that we have with this neon yellow strip that really brings out the whole look of that 401 badging. Now, the tank that we have has a very minimalistic design, nothing too fancy going on and a very sleek design with a slightly flared out front. Now, the flared out front is again to provide better grip for your legs. Now, when I'm actually riding the motorcycle, when I'm in the GoPro view, I'll be telling you how comfortable it is to actually place your legs on the tank. So, moving on from that, we have a crash guard over here and right in the front, we have another Husqvarna badging and this also acts as a protector for your radiator. So, the main frame of this is shared with the KTM 390 Duke, the 2024 version, but the subframe that we have is redesigned. As you can see, we have the exposed chassis over here and we have the uh, single offset monoshock for the rear and this can be adjusted and not just the rear suspension, the front suspension can also be adjusted. Uh, for the front suspension, we have levers located right next to the handlebar to actually adjust it. Now, this is for compression and rebound. So, moving on from the suspension more towards the rear, as you can see, we have a swing arm that is also shared with the uh, KTM 390 Duke and this gives the uh, Swartpill in 401 the same wheelbase as the 390. So moving on to our rear tyre, again it's a Pirelli Scorpion dual sport tyre and the tyre size that we have at the back is a 150-60R17. Now to stop the rear wheel, we have a 240mm disc again connected to high brake calipers. So now both the uh, brakes that we have come with dual channel ABS again for your uh, added safety and to stop the bike in a much easier way. Now coming to your proper rear view of this motorcycle, firstly the uh, grab rail that we have is very very uniquely designed. It's something we don't see on a lot of motorcycles nowadays and the brake light that we have is also really really beautiful. It has a sort of rectangular finish but it's also angled so it doesn't give you that plain old simple rear brake light that we see. So the rear brake light that we have when you press it, has a very, very nice finish on it. Again, adding to the whole aesthetic purpose of this beautiful motorcycle. Now, the rear indicators that we have sh are shared with the front indicators. Again, with the sleek finish. So, on the left side of the motorcycle, we also have a sari guard. 
and we have the swart pillin barging we also have the swart pillin barging right over here so the seat that we have is a split style seat but however the rear seat that we have is not raised it's not above the main seat it's all at the same level so when you look at it from afar it honestly looks like a single piece seat and at the front the seat almost completely joins in with the tank for your again off road excursions when you want to take it off road and when you want to load some weight into the front so coming to the tank we have the husqvarna barging on the tank cap and for the rear passenger when they want to grab onto something they have something to hold on on the tank instead of just placing the hands here and hoping for the best they have something to actually hold on to giving them that extra grip also if you plan on taking some extra luggage on the motorcycle you have some place to keep it in the front to avoid damaging the body or causing any scratches on the paint so the fuel tank that we have has a 13.5 liter capacity and this has been increased from the previous version by almost 4 whole liters coming to the handlebar the switch feel and the instrument cluster so when i talk about the rider's triangle i'll talk about it when i'm actually sitting on the motorcycle but the handlebars have really good grip uh it provides ample amount of grip it's not too uncomfortable it's not not too rough even if you ride without gloves and you also have this small cut on your levers for where you want to place your fingers while pressing either of them now the switch feel of this is absolutely premium you don't feel it rattling you don't feel any lag it's all in hands reach and it all feels really good come into our instrument cluster firstly when you open it up when you switch on your instrument cluster it gives you the very very basic the very minimalistic husqvarna logo and then once it actually comes to life you have all sorts of readings on it your speedometer your revs the gear you're on abs traction control your riding mode uh, then your traction control setting which traction control setting you're on your engine temperature and your fuel also it shows you your distance to empty now we also have different views on the cluster that we'll show you in a small clip for me personally the very minimalistic view is what i prefer now the minimalistic view goes with the whole motorcycle if you ask me as the husqvarna doesn't have too many fancy lines on it it doesn't have anything standing out but what makes it stand out is the very very simple but elegant design of this now coming to the rider's triangle and the seat comfort of the motorcycle so sitting on it i am 6 foot 1 and as you can see i can place my legs very comfortably i am not struggling at all so even for a shorter rider someone who's probably 5 4 5 5 or 5 6 they will also have a very 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 easy time on the motorcycle now the seat comfort is pretty good i wouldn't say it's the best but i wouldn't say it's the worst either it does feel a little firm but it's not something that can get uncomfortable now i haven't ridden the motorcycle for a long period of time but in the short time that i've ridden it i really haven't felt any pain or strain so coming to the rider's triangle so as you can see with my leg in the position i normally ride in i feel good so as you can see i'm not in a very aggressive position like how the ktm 390 duke is nor am i very relaxed like how a cruiser or, or an adventure motorcycle is i'm in a slightly sporty sitting position but also i feel relaxed i don't feel like i'm straining myself now even in your seating position the side view mirrors that we have are perfectly placed it's not too out of place it's not uh too small nor is it too big you have ample amount of vision through your side view mirrors so now coming to the performance of this motorcycle So looking at the whole side profile of the Husqvarna the ground clearance that we have is 177 mm and the seat height of this is pretty good at 820 mm now that's not too high for a complete adventure spec motorcycle nor is it low like a proper sports oriented motorcycle it has a little bit of both giving again enhancing the whole dual sport aspect of this the whole take it through whichever terrain you want and you'll be comfortable so now coming to the engine coming to what makes the swart pill in 401 run so the power train that we have on the swart pill in 401 is shared with the ktm 390 duke it has a 390 cc engine liquid cooled and a dhc setup producing 45.4 bhp and 39 newton meters of torque both at peak rpm this engine while i'm riding it i'll tell you how the power delivery is i'll tell you how it actually feels and along with the engine it comes paired with a slipper clutch and a quick shifter 
Now that enhances the whole sportiness aspect of this and also the stability for when you are hard braking as the clutch will do the slipping for you and you will not have to do it manually. Coming to the exhaust of this, as you can see it's an underbelly exhaust just like the new 390 Duke and the first gen Duke. Now this exhaust comes with a guard over here and this is to cover all the rusting that happens over time. Now as you know if you've owned a motorcycle over a long period of time you do see the exhaust getting a little rusted and it doesn't really look good to the eye. So that's why Husqvarna has incorporated this guard over here and in the front to avoid showing the rusting. So now I've told you all about the specifications of the engine but to see how it actually performs this is my opinion, so let's go to the GoPro view. So coming to how tractable this engine is, uh, so let's start it on like second gear or fourth gear for that matter. And as you can see, it's just pulling with ease. No struggle. Yeah, there was a little strain initially, but I mean, or starting on fourth gear from zero, that is wonderful. So. In terms of your suspension setup, your ride feel, everything, it's super comfortable. Seat is tremendously comfortable. Seating position also, you really don't have to think twice. You don't have to uh, worry about being too uncomfortable on the motorcycle. So, like, see, it's beautiful. Like, the thing this bike is capable of doing is unbelievable. And you just take it on any dirt path you want without thinking twice and it will just take it with ease so i mean overall those are the riding impressions of this and uh, yeah so let's whack it open one last time so i mean as you can see the duke 390 is known for its power and even this just puts the power down it just goes for it and i love that so that is really good about this motorcycle and it's a blast to ride However, I do feel the traction control does come in the way of us riding. It does come in the way of what we want to do sometimes. Like if you want to get the back to step out, it does. That was how this bike performs. Uh, overall, a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, thrilling, to say the least. The uh, place we have on the tank to flare, uh, where it flares out, perfect for your legs. And even if you come in front with the uh, extended seat, it just gives you that extra play for whatever you want to do now suspension beautifully calibrated not uncomfortable even over bumps even over like that uh, off-road section we took it on i did not feel uncomfortable at all even the rear suspension just took it the dual purpose tires worked amazing the pirelli scorpions are wonderful yes not fully off-road so it did get a little slippery on certain points but otherwise it just did whatever you wanted to do you want to take it on a slippery section and slide it but not get out of control it would do that you want to corner hard on a hard road on a paved road it would do that so all in all i'd say it was crazy fun to ride this motorcycle really gives you the whole rawness that uh, the whole grunt of the engine you really feel that grunt of the engine and when you whack open the throttle that is something you have to experience yourself so now Stay tuned for the price, I'm gonna tell you the price in the next clip and I hope you enjoyed the riding impressions and do make sure to check out this motorcycle if you're looking for something that's fun, capable and durable. So yeah, that's about it. The suspension of this is on the stiffer side but it's nothing that gets too uncomfortable, it's still really really comfortable I'd say. And uh, like even taking like over this bumpy section right? There's nothing and even when you whack it open it's really fun to ride there's no discomfort at all there like see we just got into something really hard but it's not like the bike didn't take it it's not like i felt uncomfortable and even if we go up this uh, dirt patch right so like, like so as you can see standing up and riding is also fairly decent on this there's not much discomfort and uh, the bike just does what you want it to do so that's really good as you can see you can explore the unexplored on this motorcycle 
with these uh, dual purpose tires so that's really really good on this so see as you can see like even pushing it on the dirt it's not like the bike is getting uncomfortable to ride you can get the back to step out when you want it to so like on off-road sections it's really good suspension setup is good as i said we have the front a uh, usd fork as the enduro or uh, the enduro spec forks and it's beautiful uh, it's taking what you throw at it it doesn't crib if you take it and even on soft sand like this yeah it does get, it does get a little slippery but I mean, it's not full off-road tires. They are at the end of it, dual-purpose tires. So uh, you can't expect everything out of them, but you certainly can expect a lot out of it. So I mean, see, you take it to such places like this, and you're like, wow. So now you've seen the riding impressions of the Swartwell and 4012, and Price at rupees 2.92 lakhs X showroom, you get what you want on this motorcycle, right? From heated grips to increased ground clearance to an elongated seat to a beautifully performing engine, you get everything. So let us know in the comment section down below what you think of the newly released Swartpil and 401 by Husqvarna. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. My name is Vedan Johari, signing out. <laughs>